Hey guys, it's Emily and today I will be showing you guys my March bullet journal. So this is my cover page and I found it off of Pinterest like a lot of my things. So if you zoom in on like this circle, um, it has just lines and pen and then in between those it has ones in yellow so it's like a sun. And then I have a little quote underneath it, it says spreading sunshine starts from within. So because I have this quote under here, because that's how I found it on Pinterest, I don't have an actual page that's just a quote for this month. It's just on here with my cover page. And then, of course, next I have my calendar. So it is like all my other calendars in a way where it just says the month up here. And then with my yellow mild liner, I just kind of scribbled over it because mild liners have like a side that's kind of like a highlighter and a side that's more like a pen. So I use like the highlighter side for that. And then I have all my squares for the month. And then over here I have my little key. You guys can read it. I have a yellow one for school, a gray one for YouTube, a pink one for other, and then a brown one for canceled. Which reminds me that I have to put my YouTube stuff on here. So I will do that soon. And it's pretty basic. I haven't done anything like fancy to it and I probably won't. I just like it nice and plain and simple and I think this one looks really nice. Okay. The next page that I have is my habit tracker. And I've been doing habit trackers every month now, starting in 2019. And this is actually a little different than my other two because my other two were like exact copies of each other with the idea of what was in the habit tracker. For this one I have different ones. So for this one I have read for one hour, um, do mind, body, spirit. Sorry, I could read that for a second. Bullet journal, lines, post video, bed by 12, YouTube, two hours or less, and then pin just 15 minutes or less. And basically all I took out was the, when I was supposed to go to bed, cause like I'm not, I mean not when I was supposed to go to bed, when I was supposed to wake up. Cause like I'm not a morning person and I like I could set an alarm every single day and it can be all the way at my desk which is the point where I have to get up and out of my bed and turn it off and still walk back into my bed and just fall back asleep. The only way I'm gonna wake up if somebody wakes me up so there was really no point. So this is it and I did add the Pinterest for 15 minutes one. But other than that it is the same. And now on my other side, I have my sleep tracker and my grade tracker. So they are the same as normal sleep tracker. I have the days of the month going down here. And I just realized that I think I did tw only 28 for this. Yeah, I only did 28 instead of 31 because I'm still thinking in February times. So I'm gonna have to fix that. And then I accidentally had drawn this line out a little bit too far. So what I did is I just add a little extra column for how many hours slept. So I'll put how many hours I slept for each night. And then at the bottom I have my grade tracker. So the way my grade tracker works is I put, well, I track my grades every Friday. Because we have a way to check our grades online. So I just put each of the Fridays of the month, there's five of them, and then each of my seven classes, middle school. And then I will put like, you know, like throughout the month, I'll put the grades that I have for each class. And then the last page that I have, it's just basic gratitude log. Of course, there's nothing there yet because March hasn't started. But once it starts, I will have 31. Like every single day, I'll write something down that I'm thankful for or that I'm grateful for. And then by the end of the month, I'll have 31 things written down here. So, that was it for my March bullet channel. It was pretty basic, but I do really love this cover page in particular. And... My calendar, I think they're so pretty even though they're so basic. And I think it's my favorite for this year so far. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one. And remember, if you can dream it, you can do it.